So I've also decided to fit one of these, um, I can't remember where I got it, Amazon I think it was, about 12, 13, maybe 14 pound if that. Uh, it's a power meter, so I'm, I'm, all I'm really interested in is the current there in the top right corner. Um, it's just so I can monitor um, how much heating I can put on during the winter um, when I'm on hookup up because let's face it, majority of the time I'm, I'm hack sites and I'm, I'm on the electric hookup. Um, usually got a 16 amp um, trip switch or, on, or MCB on the supply their side and then on our box we've got a th it looks like a 13 amp MCB so these little things are pretty easy to to wire up um, so they need a 240 volt supply to it and they also need um, a feed from the device or the winding that detects how much current has been used so I'll just show you in here, now this is a uh, high 50 tick, so just inside the wardrobe, this is where the, the power comes in. So this is the 240 volts in, um, it comes up through, through there, um, it comes into the top through here, looks like it's going through a 69 MCB through and then um, out of there it's going back round through this. Here. I don't know if you can see it, it looks like 13 amp, uh, anyway I think that's 13 amp. Um, so this little device here, see it looks like a donut, uh, that donut uh, just goes on the uh, the live side of the incomer, um, so I just disconnected the live side which is the, the black one here, disconnected it, fed it through there and I've just extended the, the wire, I put a little chop block there, I extended the wire and I'm just going to bring them both up this trunk in that's already there. The trunk in is for the um, this little light inside the wardrobe area, which I don't know is standard or not. The previous owner might have done it. I'm going to mount the um, this box here, um, there, and then it's hopefully it'll look pretty smart and um, like it was meant to be there. Uh, so I'll give you t uh, do another little video when it's all in. Um, I'll just show you a little demonstration. So it's showing like 1.8 amps. So currently I've got the um, heater taking over very, very slowly. And also probably the, the uh, battery charger is probably kicked in as well. So it's showing 1.8. Um, I'll just go and stick the uh, the oil fill radiator on, which is 800, um, 800 watts. So, you know, rough calculation, it's, uh, what, it's 1 amp per 240 um, so uh, 240 into 800 goes what three and a bit um, so hopefully that'll go up three and a bit so it should be seeing what 4.9 ish amps so uh, bear with me I'll just go and stick it on Look at that, 4.9 amp. So, and then, you know, I know I've got 13 amp trip switch here. So, you know, I'm, I'm sticking, a, what am I doing here? On this umbrella in the way. But I'm gonna put a plinth heater in here because there's plenty of room in the like boiler cover behind here. And um, the plinth heater will give me two kilowatts of um, uh, um, extra heat into the van. So I don't have to use my gas. Um, so if I stuck that on, two kilowatts is, I know that's eight amps, um, and I would know what eight amps and this 4.89, that would take me to 12.89, which is a bit close. So if I flick that um, the oil fill radiator off, which I'm trying not to have in the future because I can't be bothered without having a, another bulky item to carry around with me, that's why I wanted the plinth heater. Um, but I'll know I've got plenty of amps left in the, the circuit to uh, still operate, give me heat and not trip the uh, the fuse board. So I'm down to what what's it 1.8. So um, two kilowatt um, fan heat would give me another eight. That'll give me what 9.8, and then I've got three odd uh, amps spare, um, which I can do with what I want. I thought I'd just flip it around as well and uh, show you the wiring. So you've got a little donut thing there that goes over the the uh, the live wire coming in. 
and the two feeds go to the top two um, terminals here and then just want 240 volts live and neutral going to the the bottom two screws here um, simple as that so I just got to draw around this use a multi-tool pop it in um, and away you go you, you have got this thing as well you can you can reset the amount of power usage by um, the energy you're using but I'm really not bothered about that all I want to know is that uh, how much current I'm using um, and also maybe to see if uh, the 240 volts still onto the, the van uh, which obviously this screen wouldn't light up because it needs 240 volts to light up and also tells me the voltage there okay so the holes cut out a bit nerve-wracking cutting holes in your van but hey ho just a bit of wood okay um there it is excuse the mess and there is a lot of mess but uh, there's the power meter fitted. Uh, I hope you can see that. I see I can't get my phone at the right angle. But top right hand corner, it's showing 1.76 amps. Uh, that's what I'm interested in. Um, and then I can just keep on using power up to you know, about 12 amps, something like that. Uh, it's quite a nice little install. Um, look inside, tucked up there in the corner. There's no cover on the uh, the, uh, the terminals and like 240 volts, so I've chucked a bit of red gaffer tape on there just to warm. And no one should put their hands there anyway, but um, it's covered up and insulated now anyway. So while I was there, um, they mean to put the Dyson up, so I've just stuck the Dyson up in that corner there, thread the wire through, and I've got a, a socket in the garage that the previous owner did, so I've just fed the cable through. Um, that's where our Dyson's going to live. Okay. So I'm really pleased, it looks stock, looks like it was designed there and it helps me have an indication of uh, how much uh, spare current or power I've got left to consume. Okay, bye bye.